Oh. Alrighty. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, well, I was browsing the Twitch forums, like I usually do from time to time. Uh, and I found another good topic here. In fact, let me uh, go ahead and like that. Thoughts on having music in the background on stream um, by a guy named... Silent Wes, I think that's his name. But, yeah, I'll, I'll just call him Wes for short. Uh, but he had a, well, like I said a few moments ago, he had a, he had a good question on here. Thoughts on having music in the background on, on stream. Um, I did a, I actually do different variations of this topic from time to time, so, but, those, I don't, I do those very sporadically. So, I probably did another one like this probably, I want to say, about six months ago. So, I figured, you know, probably about due, probably high time for another one of these. So, I guess, uh, it'll be music in the background version 3.0 or something. But, but like, uh, for those that have never seen me do this before, I go, um, I'll usually do, um, uh, you do, I'll do a commentary on um on forum topics and stuff, and then um I'll give my take on it, and then um what I'll do do afterwards I'll just go on down the line, go on down the um other forum threads and comment on those as well. And um I'm not I'm not calling out other people, I'm not calling them out, I'm not trying to embarrass them or anything like that. But um for situations stuff like th for situations like this. I find it easier for me to just talk it out rather than have to try to type it all out. I already do a fair amount of uh, blog posting and I do a fair amount of responding to other people's blog posts. So I do enough typing as it is. So sometimes it's nice to be able to just speak rather than... But that said, here we go. That's something like it doesn't matter then because chances are it won't get hit or if it is hit the stream will be long over. Okay. Take my affiliation very seriously as I'm technically employed by Twitch and do not want to ever get put, put it. Um I'm guessing um with this question here, I'm guessing yes. Because you're higher up on the food chain. You're more well known. It also means you're more popular. So, um, greater repercussions if you do something wrong. Whereas, uh, a small time streamer like myself, I mean, they're, they're probably not, they're, I would think they're not going to worry about me as much. I mean, if they, if they're out, it'll more on it later. But I'll just say right now is, uh, if you're, um, if you're an affiliate, you're probably more likely to get in trouble because of exposure. You're more well known. You're more known to more people. You're you're not you're not under the radar now. You're you're inside the radar, so they might be tracking you more. They might be more likely to tracking you. To be sorry, I think I'm. This is probably a bad time to do this video. I think vocal dyslexia has kicked in. This one I can probably answer. Um, when I do when I do play when I do play music when I stream, um, it's it's always gonna be vinyl, vinyl records, and probably once or twice a week I'll also play cassettes and CDs as well. So. I guess I could just go go ahead and highlight the whole thing. Um, as far as uh, what kind of music should you play? That's totally up to you. Um, if you're wanting to, if you're wanting me to highlight this. 
if you're wanting me to recommend, if you're wanting me to recommend something, I say none of them. I mean, if, if you really want to, if you really want to stand out, if you really want to do something totally different, you would have to follow my footsteps. You know, start playing vinyl records and not Pandora or anything like that. Or maybe, maybe we'll do something totally different. Play a tracks. You know, play a track tapes, or maybe I'll do a flip side of me and do a. Uh, do tapes and CDs or something like that, but don't stay away from the MP3s and downloads. Um, oh, and uh, something else on this too is uh, a lot of artists out there are complaining about uh, streaming uh, MP3s MP3 is downloads, streaming, or music streaming, that kind of thing. Cheats them out, really screws them over. Because they're not making any money off of this. So, I would probably say if you if you don't want to get in trouble with Twitch, don't, don't go with this kind of, don't go with this kind of stuff. Because again, you're probably going to be more likely to be picked up on the radar and they might come after you. Which is also one of the reasons why I play vinyl. Is it it's a lot more obscure than Pandora or any of these other other MP3 download streaming thingies. I mean her put another put another way. They are Hang on, let me dig. They're probably uh, far less to come after you if you're playing an old record like Songs by Tom Lehrer. I'm pretty sure nobody and their dogs probably ever even heard of this guy. So they're probably far less to come after you for something like this and say if you're, if you're streaming Taylor Swift's latest album, you know, for free. I mean, yeah, they'll probably be more likely to come after you for something like that. So, again, if you're if you're worried about getting in trouble with Twitch, you you gotta stay under the radar. Uh. Um, Twitch is. To each his own on that one, but you know, I mean, I'd, I'd like to hear my music. I mean, I paid for all mine. I mean, I'm not, I didn't, I mean, I'm not, pay, I'm not using Amazon Prime where it's like a hundred bucks a year and you, they basically give you the keys to the kingdom. I mean, I paid for each and every single one of my records. I mean, yeah, I'd like to hear them. Um, this could probably be a fairly easy question for me to answer as well. Um, I think, I think the, the in-game music gets very repetitious. In-game sound effects can get repetitious. In-game voice dialogue also gets very repetitious. So, so yeah, get something else in there. You know, something that no one's ever heard before. Or if, so, if nothing else, something different. Something you don't hear in game all the time. That's one of the reasons why uh, I seek alternative forms of media, or alternative forms of music media. Excuse me. You know, rather than just the in-game stuff. It's, that really grates on me. And a kind of a side note, it's also why uh, I don't play games like Warcraft 3, and why I tend to shy away from games like real real-time strategy games like Age of Empires. Just the the con just the constant you know, double, yeah. Your time is up, yeah. Double, your time is up, yeah. You know, hearing that over and over and over just gets very annoying. 
But uh, I heard you can shut that. I heard you can shut that off, but I don't. You know, then there, then it probably leads to another issue. Leads to another issue. Then you don't hear any any voices at all, and the game just becomes dry, for lack of a better word. I don't know if they'd have an option to where, rather than just a simple toggle on and off on the voices, maybe reduce the percentage that they say stuff, like 20% or something. But, but I kind of digress, so. Do viewers not like this music? Um, with me, it's probably a mixed bag. They... They probably come on my stream expecting, ooh, he's playing vinyl. That means he's probably playing Boston or, ooh, ooh, he's he's probably playing Led Zeppelin IV or something. And they come in and they listen to something like, something like the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack. Like, oh, what the hell is this, man? Uh, screw this. I'm, I'm going to Billy Bob's stream. Uh, He's playing uh, Kid Rock's latest album, man. I'll head over there. Pew, you know. But, uh, let me uh, uh, let me adjust myself a little bit. There we go. And yes, I'm sitting on. And yes, I sit on the floor when doing this. Uh, but otherwise, I pretty much said my piece on this. Now, what I'll go ahead and do is check and make sure the mic's working. Okay. I'll just go ahead and go on down the line, look at everybody else's posts, and I'll just comment on them as well. And as stated at the start of the stream, I'm not calling anybody out, I'm not trying to embarrass anybody or anything like that, but so, sometimes it's just easier for me to talk these out than to type them out. Yep. Um I currently play uh I currently play Final Fantasy fourteen. Um in uh one of the one of the neat quirks that I do is I I try to set it up I mean I do I do play the game with a controller as well, but I only use it for a small amount of functions. Most of the things I do is on a keyboard. And I usually, I usually uh, hit the keys fairly hard. Uh, reason being, is kind of what this guy said here too. It's hard to, it's hard for me to watch a video of myself if a lot of it's muted. Um, making extra outside noises covers up the music. And, uh, let me uh, move my microphone for a moment. My keyboard is here. My record player is here. So, it's just in front of the keyboard. When streaming, I'll have a microphone set right here between my record player and my keyboard. This way, so my microphone also picks up my key tapping. So, it's one of those little subtle quirks I do to cover up the music. This, uh, this causes it to become less likely to... Be, this causes my video to become less likely to be muted. Because the, uh, the... Copyright recognition software that uh, Twitch has, if that's what it's called, is uh, going to have a harder time picking up the music if I'm already having a bunch of noise behind it. Um, as far as uh, the in-game music goes, I have it toned down actually fairly low. I'm trying to strike a balance between being able to hear the music and being able to hear the in-game sound effects. So... The in-game stuff doesn't really factor that much since I already keep it fairly low. But yeah. It... But yeah, from time to time, I also like to watch my own videos just to hear what I sound like. Um, just to hear, listen to how loud the in-game stuff is, if I should turn it up or turn it down a little bit, that kind of thing. But it's kind of hard to do that when your video is muted, so... Don't seem to have a problem. Um, my guess on that 
is probably because they're uh, they're constantly talking. Again, because uh, uh, even chatter, chatter can cover up the music as well. So there's that as well. And um, again, technically, th technically this is true, but um. There was a, I just remember now, um, I did a previous, a previous video on this, they were talking about, uh, there was talk of, uh, the outside powers that be were gonna start cracking down on Twitch, cause of everybody playing, uh, playing stuff like Twitch Prime and Pandora and whatnot, you know, cheating, uh, cheating artists out of their profits, which, um, I kinda, which I, I kinda agree with that. Um, I don't, but I, again, I, again, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to force somebody to do what I have to do, or I, let me rephrase, or what I prefer to do, play vinyl, because, um, vinyl records aren't cheap, um, you can go to thrift stores, and you can probably pay, you can probably pay 25 cents, 50 cents, a dollar, um, the absolute most expensive I've ever seen a record sell for at a thrift store it was like five bucks but those are few and far between but if you're if you're looking for something specific you could be you can expect to pay at least 10 bucks i mean i got vinyl in here that i probably spent as much as 50 dollars for so so that being said i wouldn't i mean i'm no i'm no fan of uh i'm no fan of playing mp3s when streaming but then again I wouldn't want to force somebody to do what I do what I do though. I mean, so I'm kind of I'm kind of neutral on that. I'll just I'll just say when I stream, I will, barring very 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 rare exception, I will not do I will not do any MP3s, no downloads, uh, no music streaming. Um, as far as um. Uh, YouTube playlists. I do have my own personal playlist that I have on YouTube, but I seldom, seldom play that. But 99 or 95% of the time, it's going to be vinyl, cassettes, and CDs from my collection. So, and so I guess uh, I might end up sounding like a broken record farther down the line, but I will say if they ever started cracking down, I'd be pissed. I would be totally flipping fucking pissed because I prop after calculating up all the money I spent on my vinyl I probably spent about sixteen hundred dollars on it no I didn't spend that kind of money just for twitch to all of a sudden say you can't play them anymore I mean yeah I'd, I'd be mad you know so and again um I think um the higher powers that be have bigger fish to fry than me. Like I said, I paid all. I paid for all my vinyl. I'm not just. I didn't. I didn't grab it all for free or anything like that. Or I didn't any do a the Columbia Music House thing they had back in the 80s where you you pay one subscription fee and you got like 10 or 15 albums every month or something like that. I didn't do that. All of my vinyl was paid for out of my own pocket. So. Yeah, I'd be kind of ticked off if, if I Twitch started cracking down on this. But <clears throat> on the on the flip side, though, one thing uh, Twitch does do, one thing that they do good on, is um, if you do have any offending pieces of music, uh, Twitch will only mute that particular offending piece. They won't flag your entire video for copyright and then <laughs> put ads all over it like they do on YouTube. That's why I don't stream on YouTube. I mean, you have one little, just a teeny tiny 10 second copyright protected piece on your on your four hour video. Like back when I was streaming Pinball Arcade. One little 10 second clip on there could cause my entire video to be flagged for copyright and have ads placed all over it. That pisses me off to no end, so I don't stream on YouTube anymore. So it's back on Twitch. So, that being said, I'm probably, 
I'm probably dragging too long in this particular part here. So I'll move along. Um, again. Again, I won't I won't do downloads. I won't do MP3s when streaming. Because again, I do agree with I do agree with what other people say. It pretty much cheats the artist. It pretty much cheats the artist out of their out of their money. Um, whereas back in the day, where uh, everything was vinyl, cassettes, eight tracks, etc., um, artists got paid, probably got paid more money, cause um, uh, I mean, each each album counted. You know, every time he sold, every time an album got sold, he got the artist got something. Now, now the artist probably just gets, probably gets some kind of flat amount, you know, set flat amount of money, but um, everybody else is probably still raking in the money, but the artists probably don't make diddly squat now. Whereas back in the day, I'm pretty sure they got paid more. Um, the only exception being, I think it was called Depressing Plant Overrun. Uh, I think uh, mafia people were doing it back in way back in the day. They would uh, they would order a, a record making company to press like five thousand copies of some record, but and they would uh, back up their truck or station wagon or whatnot, load them all up, boom, drive off with them. But I mean, barring that. I'm, I'm, getting, I'm pretty sure uh, artists got paid more back then than they do now. Um, I'm trying to think. There was also a real life experience with this, now that I think about it. Um, back when I was in my 20s, around 20, 25 years ago, I was uh, I was selling beer at uh, hockey games. Or beer, popcorn, peanuts. I don't think they sold hot dogs. But, you know, stuff like that. Pop. You know, you go around, you go up during a hockey game, you go around, ice cold beer, you know, that kind of thing. And you were a paid straight commission. Um, you got 25 cents for every class of class of beer, box of popcorn, etc. that you sold. Um, and including tips. You got to keep tips. I think uh, you could probably make, I probably made as much as 100 bucks a night. Basically amounting to probably amount into about 50 bucks an hour that's a lot of money for the amount of time you're putting into it and what what ended up happening though is uh, uh, corporate people took over the place and were no longer paid straight commission now it's just a straight hourly wage like 425 an hour you know almost almost waitress wages right there so based on that experience so I mean, so I wasn't making near the amount of money. I wasn't making nearly the amount of money with that system than I did the old system where I was straight commission. I could definitely see the issue. I could definitely see this here. You know, artists back then were sort of kind of being paid straight commission. They're probably getting paid a lot more money back then than they are now with these new streaming services, the new MP3s and whatnot, uh, Napster. So they probably have their profits just. Whoosh, well, cut at least you know at least cut in half now, so I can, so I can definitely relate to that. So again, I'm sorry for going off on this, but yeah, again, this is also one of the reasons why I refuse to use MP3s and downloads when I stream. Um, okay, and this I agree with. Props to this guy for doing this. He's not just going right after the popular music. He presumably he's going after he's playing obscure stuff as well. And a side note here, this is also one of the reasons why I very rarely watch other streamers. Cause it's always it's always popular stuff. Um And it's also one of the reasons why I play vinyl records when I stream. Nobody else is doing it. You know, this is also one of my Back when I actually was watching other streamers, this was always one of my biggest turnoffs right here. When they play techno, dubstep, uh, rap music, I mean, unless it's like old school or something, then yeah, I can, I can get into that. But I kind of like that it's not popular music. Then it's. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can only imagine. I can only imagine he's like playing like Muzak or something. I mean, if that's the case, then hell, man, I'll be right over. <laughs> Don't hear that every day. Requires that you have chat attribution. It's not a bad idea. Um, I think that could also be another way of, uh, subtly saying that you don't own any of this music, you know, rights reserved to the owner, or rights reserved to the original owner. I mean, despite the fact that that technically doesn't work, it, it can still help. It can still kind of throw the dogs off the trail, so to speak. But on the other hand, that, that would just take up space in my stream. Having that, plus, uh... It would also kill the also kill the joy of discovery. You know, maybe somebody coming on my stream and hearing something they've never heard before. Maybe it might inspire them to ask, Hey, who is this? It very seldom happens on my stream, but it does happen. Uh-uh. I like this, but uh-uh. Uh-uh. That is that is not true. I mean, yes, there's probably people out there that couldn't stand the stuff you play. But, um, I'm going to say it, it doesn't happen constantly. It doesn't happen all the time in my experience, but I've sat there and, uh, uh let me see if I can, uh, let me see if I can dig something up real quick. I mean, I'll, I'll throw out a record like this, Richard Pryor's That Nigger's Crazy album. I'm half expecting a, all, if, you, if you've ever listened to Richard Pryor at all, and all the things he talks about, and, uh, you know, the fact that he uses the N-word liberally, and, you know, that he's pretty, he's pretty gross and vulgar. I mean, I'm half expecting people to, people to just, ew, this music is disgusting, ah. People actually don't seem to mind listening to it. You know, and this is that that record is probably one of those where I'm actually anticipating getting reported for having that kind of stuff on my stream. But no. Some I mean, some of the people that come on are actually cool with it. Um, some cases and not just exclusive to that record, but other records that I think I don't think they would get into this, they actually do. So it's all bad. I would based on my experience, I'd say give it a go, man. You'd be surprised. I know I sure was. Now, I mean, now unless unless you're into stuff like the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, that kind of thing, and then yeah, you keep it off, please. You're one of the reasons why I listen to the music I listen to. Um, I've heard of this before, NCS, no copyright sounds, uh, but, um, I, I, not that I've actually, like I said a few minutes ago, a few moments ago, excuse me, not that I've actually done it, but, uh, I'm thinking you get what you pay for, like, you they might not be copyrighted, but then again, you get what you pay for. You might listen to it. And it's like, oh, this is awful, man. You know, so. And secondly, I'm pretty sure if it's something like this, if it's being posted in a Twitter forum or in a Twitch forum, Twitch Reddit, you know, a pretty popular website. A lot of other people are probably aware of this and a lot of other people are probably also playing this kind of music, which means I wouldn't want to because again, I'm trying to carve out my own niche here. I'm trying to do something that I've never seen anybody else do. So, uh, scratch my back.
read Twitch terms and conditions on music copyright, which basically means anything outside of the game you're playing is protected by copyright. So, I basically, I basically look at this the same way I look at, look at, uh, look at diets. They're all variations on everything you eat as well. So, because of that, I don't even bother, I don't even bother reading any of them. Same thing here. <clears throat> I didn't even bother reading that because I already know everything you play is wrong. So I'm not even going to bother reading it. But, well, that looks like that's it for the thread. So, and I'm probably going to, and I'm going to have to do some pre-writing. I'm going to be streaming tonight, so got to write my uh, Twitch and Twitter descriptions and all that. And then after that, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to go hit the sack because I'm going to be streaming tonight. So, so thanks for watching and take care, everybody.